for you personally, um, getting used to the like the new guys on the team, like James and PJ, and the spots that they like to operate in the floor. What has that process been like for you? And does it do you think that as the process has gone along, not just you, but everyone's gotten more comfortable? Um, I think yeah. I mean, repetition is great. That's how you learn. Um, um, like I said before, we got to keep playing basketball together and uh, figure out. Um, you know, different areas when guys are getting hot or when they're attacking and the different passes they like to make, the, the language. And, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, just keep got to keep playing together and um, just keep uh, keeping our heads high and be confident. Kawhi, uh, take me to that last sequence where out of the timeout, Jabari's guarding you and you you're got the ISO and you make that decision to – pass it over to James like what were y'all trying to get out of that play and and like what were you seeing to make that pass exactly what you said man <laughs> exactly there's nothing no magic to it I have the ball uh um I seen uh, his guy kind of lagging a little bit um and you know I trusted him uh, he's uh one of the top 75 players that this league ever seen and I gave him the ball and he made the shot when you have a player of uh, of Russ's caliber uh, being asked to, to to come off the bench and provide that kind of bench spark, um, what do you lose from that? And I guess what does that kind of say about the sacrifice that everyone on this team will have to kind of? Uh, yeah, I mean uh, that's what it takes. Um, you know, if you whatever coach needs, um, you know, you gotta you know kind of suck it up and um, just you know go go with it. You know what I mean? Just see what. Uh, see what the opportunity presents uh, for the team. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I've been there before, uh, starting my career and, you know, just um, just every year just uh, trying to, you know, see different ways you can win a basketball game. And uh, I think he's, he, he's going to be good. Uh, you know, it's going to take time uh, for us all to figure it out. But um, I think he did well, came in uh, in the game and hit a, hit a big three for us and uh, got some stops, great defense. So, um, yeah. I don't know if you knew, but this is like, that was your personal, like, longest losing streak that you've been on your career. Is there anything you learned from something like that uh, over the last two weeks? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's something that, um, you know, I learned before, just, just losing games. Uh, we just uh, keep being repetitive with our mistakes as far as boxing out and not doing uh, rotations, uh, turning over the ball. Uh, if we keep doing that consistently, we will lose games. Uh, you know, tonight, um, I think we had 10 turnovers in the first half or something, and we finished with 12. So we kind of turned it around in that second half. So that was a good thing. But uh, we still got a lot to work on. Uh, you know, we got to be able to bury the teams when we go up 10 and not make it a close game coming from behind. And uh, it's some, it's just on the players. You know what I mean? It, you can only get coached so much uh, till you that light switches in your head or it never does. And then you see the teams fail. So we got to figure out who, who we want to be. Kawhi, this was the team's first game this year. Uh, sorry, right, Bernie. First win in like a close game within five points in the final five minutes. Yesterday, Ty was saying that when he has seen the struggles, it's because the defense has broken down those final minutes. I think you guys ended on a 12-1 run tonight. What was different defensively in the final minutes? Uh, I think we got some steals. Uh, we stopped fouling. Um, deflections, uh, you know, the last game. Two games or you know, the games we've been losing, like I said, have been repetitive. Uh, no transition defense um, at the Denver game of five or six at the time. They come down and get a, a lob dunk in, in their home gym. So and in other games, we're not boxing out. Guys aren't checking their man, running in, not doing rotations. They get two offensive rebounds. That's four points. So we won this game by six tonight just – that's how the game is. Three little mistakes could be nine or six points. Hey, uh, Kawhi, just, you know, the, the job that you guys were able to do with Jalen, he shot five for 16, finished with 20 points. Um, you know, w once again, just repeating after him, just on the defensive effort, especially with you guys on the wings, to able, you know, being able to make it tough uh, for uh, their wings. Can you talk about that? 
Uh, I mean, uh, he's, he's taking that next step every year. You know, yet he's stepping on the floor. He's still learning the game. Uh, he's been aggressive, uh, you know, throughout his career. And, you know, you're going to have nights like this uh, where you're not shooting the ball well. Um, I know uh, he looks very confident in, you know, stepping into the next game and, you know, taking that next shot thinking he's going to make it. So, um but with us, you know, we know he's the best player, so you got to throw two two or three bodies at him to make him miss. And, um, you know, we was fortunate enough tonight for him to go uh, five for 16. Hey, Kawhi. Um, with Russ volunteering to come off the bench, I'm just curious if that's something he discussed with you guys um, before he talks to coach. Um, I mean, he just uh, – we're all trying to figure out ways to win. And um, like I said before uh, – you know, it's it's a notable, noticeable, very noticeable sacrifice that he's making just because he's not starting. Uh, but um, you know, if he makes that uh, leap like that, uh, it shows uh, us and you know other teammates uh, that are sitting on the bench that we all could sacrifice ourselves. Uh, and you know, that's what we must uh, pretty much been doing. Um, nobody's gonna get the same shots, like I said before. Um, you got to do the little detailed things uh, if you're not getting them or if you're not playing. And if you are playing, just boxing out, knowing your rotations, talking, running hard and playing hard. Uh, like I said, it's only so much the coaches could do for you. Uh, it's on us to come out here and compete. Right, thank you. you know, only having six assists um, and having 16 in the second half and then having 11 turnovers in the first half and only having three in the second half was huge for us, you know, trying to win a possession game. And then just offensively, just not getting stagnant, not letting the switching bother us where we just, you know, get dribble, dribble, dribble. And I thought we did a better job with that in the second half. And then I thought in the second half, James was really good in the pick and rolls, just making plays and um, making that big four-point play um, down the stretch. Beyond just that four-point play, what did, you, what did you see out of James tonight with the lineup change and the space and afforded to him with those pick and rolls? No, I just thought, like you said, just – Having the space, not having the cuts, and him being able to get downhill, and you know, especially late finding Zoo for two big plays, and um, getting downhill, getting to a shot, and so um, that's good to see. I think just putting the ball in the guy's hands and run pick and roll down the stretch um, can put your team at ease. Because what a lot of teams do, you know, just run high pick and roll with their best players, and you know, make make plays. And so I thought James did a good job of doing that tonight. Ty, what did you make of the uh, the starting lineup that you guys used today? Um, I thought it was pretty good. You know, I thought we got off to a good start. Um, and then now we just got to, you know, make sure that um, with the bench we'll be having the right rotations and the, the right minutes and the right fit. But this is our first game, you know, trying to do it. And um, we'll be able to build for this one. But it's, it's better to build when you win than when you lose. So um, um, it, was, it, was, it was something for us to learn from. And um, we, can, we can tweak a few things. It's still early, but some of the numbers kind of back up PJ at the five as opposed to PJ at the four with another five. I'm curious what, what you see out there with PJ at the four and, and a big as well with him. I can't remember. I got to look at it again. But I know at the five is, is different. Like I said, he's able to switch. He's able to do some different things. And so I got to look at it at the four. And um, like I said, just for PJ, it's not really fair. We're moving him around four or five. He just got here. Don't you know? He really don't know the plays. And so I'm um, just trying to get him comfortable. But – um, he's been doing a good job for us, and you know the biggest thing, you know, with Tuck is he gonna play hard. So when you compete and play hard, you know, good things are gonna happen. Hey Ty, James is obviously a rhythm guy, and he's struggled with his rhythm the past few games. How important was it just for him to have a game like this tonight? Um, I thought it was huge. You know, like I said, what sixth, seventh game um, since May. You know, so he's starting to get his legs underneath him. You know, being able to you know, make passes, make reads, and I think the game is slowing down for him a little bit as well, you know. So um, it's still going to be a process. This was a big win for us. We definitely needed it, um, but it's something to build off of, up off of, but we still got to get better, and we know that, and so we got to continue to keep putting the work in. Hey, Ty, um, Zoo, he was great down the stretch, getting a chance to play in the fourth quarter, and, and just wanted to know uh, how, what did you see from him and being able to – just make himself available to those passes and, and to have those finishes that help you take the lead down the stretch? Yeah, um, I didn't think he was as good in the first half. I thought, you know, late um, he got better. I think, um, you know, he was experiencing some back tightness or whatever, so he had to play through some things. So he didn't really have his bounce and um, his ability to jump and block shots early on. But, 
you know, he gutted it out for us like he always does. And I thought, you know, like I said, that last part of the fourth quarter, he really did a good job of getting to his spots. James being able to find him, um, had a couple blocks. And so he was really good. And, Coach, uh, with Russ coming off the bench, uh, what did you like from him? And also, you were able to play James and Russ several minutes together. Uh, what did you like when you saw them both on the floor together? Um, just got to get Russ comfortable. I think, you know, just switching units and um, playing with different guys. We just got to get him used to it and get him accustomed to doing that. Um, and it's tough. You know, it's tough to go from starting to off the bench or from off the bench to starting, you know, um, especially with the caliber player that he is. So we just got to get him comfortable, um, make sure we got the right guys on the floor with him. But like I said, tonight was our first time and first chance of, to, of doing it. So we just got to get better with it. Coach, uh, congratulations on the win. Huge Thank you. Tonight. Just, uh, I know it's difficult with lineup changes, but what did you see defensively tonight, especially in transition and with rim protection? Um, I thought we could have did a better job you know, with rim protection. I thought late we did a, a pretty good job, but early on our guards got some layups, you know, getting downhill and um, stuff that we should be able to, you know, block or at least go verticality and kind of, you know, take them off their spot. So uh, we got to be better with the rim protection part, but – you know, overall, I thought, you know, defensively played hard. We competed, and they're a tough team. You know, they won six games in a row, and Emay's a hell of a coach, and he's done a great job with this team. And so um, this was a huge win for us. Two more. Ty, what did you think of Ty's today? Um, well, who said that? Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> I was, yeah. Um, he, um, like I said, just, just getting a chance to play. You know, he has, he's played eight minutes, I think, all season long. So just be able to get in game shape, understanding what we're trying to run offensively, what we're doing defensively. And so just to throw him out there to let him get a taste of, you know, what's going on and get some action, um, I thought it was good. And so he's going to be good for us. We just got to make sure we just bring him along um, and, you know, just try to get him up to speed as far as conditioning-wise. Hey, uh, Coach, um, everybody's going to talk about the four-point play with Harden. But what about the uh, the special play that Paul George was able to get the big block, then go down and get the layup? And can you talk about his performance tonight? Yeah, I mean, I played him a lot of minutes, but we needed this win, you know. So he got a little tired. But, you know, I kept talking to him throughout the game, just seeing, you know, how he was and where he was at. You know, and without him in the first half, we wouldn't even have been close, you know. So, you know, your best players make big plays, you know, at the end of the game. And like I said, you know, PG's block, you know, finish at the rim. You know, James' four-point play. Kawhi was good in the fourth. So, you know, those are the type of games we need for our best players to bring us home, and I thought all three did a good job of doing that.